this is such a touchy subject to talk about, but it's so important. Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are joining me for the first time. So today is going to be a bit of a story time, if you will, and also a bit of just an informative video. So this week is kind of a special week. Um, it is the first week of November, and two years ago, almost to the day, um, it was the worst day of my life. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. So a little backstory about me, um, for those of you who don't know me, um, I was an only child for 19 years. It was just me and my mom, and I graduated high school, I turned 18, I turned 19, and I thought that that was it. My mom had another baby when I was 19. She told me she was pregnant with my brother. Um, he's four years old now, so I have a four-year-old brother and I'm 23, so a um, bit of an age gap. But then, soon thereafter, um, she got pregnant with my sister Kaylee, who is two now. I love those kids with my whole heart. They are literally my everything and I love them very, very much. So when my sister was like eight and a half, nine months old, her and my brother both got sick. Normal sickness symptoms, cold, runny nose, feverish, you know, just like run down. So my mom took them to a doctor here in town and my brother rapidly got better and my sister wasn't getting better so we were kind of confused and we were not sure what exactly that meant we weren't sure if she like had caught maybe like a more serious sickness pneumonia something like that because you know Kaden was getting better and Kaylee wasn't so we took her back to the doctors and my mom also had a concern with like these little bumps that were starting to form on Kaylee's head and they were going down her back kind of like a dinosaur tail is what you could compare it to really really odd bumps kind of looked like bug bites but not really they were kind of hard to touch and it was just weird like I had never seen anything like that my mom had never seen anything like that so we weren't exactly sure what it was so we took her back to the doctor and he just completely brushed it off like it was nothing like it was just normal like oh it was probably just bug bites and whatever I'm not a parent I don't have kids but I have the best mom with the best intuition and she was not settling right on the doctor just brushing it off as though it was just bug bites so she went looking for a second opinion and she took her to the emergency room it was just a night of like her not sleeping and she was crying a lot and my mom just knew that something was wrong and she needed a second opinion so she takes my sister to the emergency room they immediately did a blood test on her to see if something else was going on and within the hour my mom and my sister were being transported to the orlando hospital which is about an hour and a half away from where we live and by the next morning we found out that my sister had all which is acute lymphoblastic leukemia at nine months old and I cannot even begin to describe to you what it feels like when you hear that someone that you love is sick I was at a loss for words my whole family was at a loss for words we were very uneducated to cancer in general um, but leukemia especially when it's in an infant like that we were very scared because we didn't know what it meant we didn't know anything we just knew fear so for the next 36 days or so um, my mom and Kaylee's dad and my family were 
in the hospital. My mom and Kaylee's dad stayed in the hospital for that whole entire time. Me and my grandma, my aunt, stuff like that, we were in and out taking care of my brother, staying, you know, when they, whenever they needed a break, but they lived in that hospital for the next couple of months because with leukemia um, or in childhood cancer in general, there is a high risk if you are over the age of 10 and under the age of one. So my sister being under the age of one at that time, she was considered high risk. And it's crucial to get them into remission. That's the goal, is to get into remission within the first X, Y, Z amount of days so that their body shows signs of fighting it. So she was able to come home, but it was like on and off for a long, long time where they were in the hospital staying there for like a week, out of the hospital coming home for a week. Um, it was months and months and months of that because she was still actively getting chemo. And when she wasn't getting chemo at the hospital, she was getting liquid chemo or pills um, at home. You can only imagine what it's like to be an adult or a teenager going through that kind of thing, but to be a baby, it's incredible. It's amazing what my sister at two years old can say that she's been through that people will never know that kind of pain or that kind of hardship. And it is just crazy to me. So for the past two years, um, my sister has been in remission um, but still getting chemo, getting pills, getting steroids, getting her port access. She has a port um, underneath her skin right here that gets accessed to give her her medication and stuff when she goes to the hospital. Um, and she knows about her port, she knows about her chemo, she knows about getting access, she knows all her doctors, she has her favorite nurses, and I just can't believe what the past two years have been. It's just completely flipped my family's world upside down. And this week was a very special week because it was officially her end of treatment. Um, I was very emotional um, when they opened the door and there was all the nurses and the doctor standing in there and they had toys and cupcakes and all this kind of stuff and they, they did a little song about her not needing chemo anymore and I just lost it um, not just because she's my sister but because it's just incredible how strong she is and I am incredibly proud to say that my hero is two years old I'm a crybaby I'm sorry you guys will get to know that um, as you continue to watch my videos I'm sure so she doesn't need chemo anymore. She is still going to have her port for the next three to six months and it'll need to get flushed out. So we're not completely out of the woods yet, but as long as she's maintaining her health and she's staying healthy for the next couple of years, there's a good chance that she will be healthy for the rest of her life. So um, I pray every single day for that to remain true so I know there are kids in my county and kids that I've come to know through my sister having leukemia that aren't so lucky and it just absolutely breaks my heart the funding that childhood cancer research gets is less than three percent and I think that is absolutely atrocious because kids more than anything deserve to have a long full life so that they can grow up and find the cure for cancer or be doctors be whatever they want to be they deserve to have that chance and they deserve to have that funding so that people can find a cure for this disease before anything else I think it is important for all of you out there whether you're parents or siblings or just friends of people who have kids or whatever to always be aware and to trust that intuition trust that gut feeling because you never know when you're right 
You, you know, if my mom had ignored that feeling and just taken that first doctor's word for it, my sister might not be here today or she might be way sicker. So I'm not saying for you to be like overly cautious or a hypochondriac because I'm a big hypochondriac, but I'm just saying to just if you feel like you need a second opinion or there's something in your gut or in your head or in your mind telling you that someone could be wrong about the status of your own health or your child's health or someone that you love, then go get a second opinion and a third and a fourth if you need to because their life is more important. Educate yourselves about childhood cancer because I never would have known all of the things I know now had I not had a sibling who was sick and I feel guilty about that because there's so many other kids out there that deserve to have a chance to live. Every year we have a golf tournament um, in Kaylee's honor to raise money for funds and stuff like that but this year we were actually able to help another family who is going through what we went through and we were able to write a check and give it to the hospital that helped my sister and that is just the most rewarding feeling in the entire world. I think people just need to become more educated about how they can help and what they can do to make a difference because every little bit helps, every bit counts. You could never do too little to help such an amazing cause just educate yourselves guys and don't ever ignore that gut feeling that feeling in your heart listen to it because it could save a life yeah just waking up in the morning and to be well quite honest with you i ain't really sleep well you ever feel like your train of thoughts been derailed that's when you press on lean in half the population just waiting to see me fail yeah right you better off trying to freeze hell <laughs> some of us do it for the females and others do it for the reads what i do it for the kids life through the time we're in on every time you fall it's only making your chin strong and i'll be in your corner like nick baby till the end and when you hear the song from that big lady until the referee rings the bell until both your eyes start to swell until the crowd goes home completes today's video um, I've been wanting to talk about this subject for a very long time and now that I have this channel I'm blessed to have an outlet for talking about these things that weigh heavily on my heart and things that I'm passionate about such as childhood cancer and leukemia specifically because I know firsthand how it affects people's lives and it's just a horrible disease and I want there to be a cure. And I think that kids with these little faces deserve that chance. This is my sister, Paige, and this is my sister, Kaylee, and I'm Kaden James. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below if you know someone with childhood cancer or a disease in general that has affected your life. Um, and if you are in need of someone to talk to, I am here. DM me on Instagram, on Twitter, my DMs are open, and comment down below, start a conversation. It's an important subject, and these kids deserve to be a conversation starter. So, um, also please don't forget to subscribe before you leave, click that bell so that you are the first to know when I upload. And thank you again for coming on this journey with me, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye! Bye! So, they're in here. Oh my god, I had a heart attack. <laughs> and what it's
it's like oh, to have. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <coughs> okay. And